Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Scorpion with Mikkel. And um, I know I had a big idea. Oh, you bitch your tongue? Huh? Bit my tongue in my face. Oh, oh yeah, I, so. <laughs> I did that the other day. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, Mikkel and I, I had a plan mapped out yesterday, but Mikkel didn't come. So we're just going to freestyle on this video. But where's the plan? Um, I, I mean, I had a list of things I wanted to talk about. But you already did it. No, I didn't. But then why can't we talk about it? Okay, we can talk about it. I just got to go back to my memory because I don't oh, have it written it. down. Oh. So anyway, um, this is Mikkel's first video since last Monday. So, you know, how have you been? Or where have you been? I've been home. <laughs> I haven't been tricking because I don't have no money to trick. Because they ain't nobody I know getting his ass for free. Um... Yeah, I've been fine. How was New York? Oh, it was fine. I met um, Ibn for the first time, AO Youngstar. Mm -hmm. I call him Trey Stone, Trey Stones on Twitter. Um, I met him for the first time. Um, it was fine. We're going back to New York to Saturday. I'm gonna turn this down. So what's going on in New York again? Well, Anitra's birthday, and she wanted a couple of us from high school to go with her. So, um. So it's kind of like basically what we did in New York for my birthday. For your birthday. Yes, right. but it's high school people. Yes. Now, over the weekend, there was this big story going around Philadelphia that uh, a school had given out laptop computers mm -hmm. to students that had cameras on them. But what the students didn't know is that the school district had... Um, op an opportunity to access their laptop cameras at any time, like they can activate them and turn the cameras on at any time. Like it, but huh? the students didn't know. Yeah, they didn't know. Now there's a family suing the school, but I think that all the parents who have a laptop should be suing the school because yeah. you know it's been accessed 42 times. They didn't tell anybody. And, you know, that's an invasion of privacy because, you know, people take their laptops in the bathroom and they could have been recorded or in the bedroom they could have been recorded or in the dining room or in the kitchen. It's just, you just don't do things like that without telling people. That's so it's, it's beyond bullshit. I think that they should pay. I don't know how much they should pay, but I think that, um, you know, something really should be done about that. They, I'm, they okay. claim that they did it. Because they didn't want anyone to steal the laptops unless somebody stole them. Yeah, they, but, but but it doesn't make sense. And yeah. I heard that one of the newscasters here in Philly, her son, is actually a student at that school, and he was actually one of the people who got lap, one of the laptops. This is what my coworker told me. So I don't know. Um, she named the lady, and I can't remember which channel she said the lady's on. But she said the lady. They were talking about the lady's son is one of the people who um who got it. I think that's scary. And then they had the nurses say that <laughs> one of the. They had the nurses to say that the school district said that one of the students was acting inappropriately in front of... Now, who, who knows what that means? But that just goes to say... Because you know... <laughs> yeah, because you know what I'm about to say. Oh, goodness. Because you know, t boys, teenage mm. boys are at their sexual peak when they're teenagers. You're damn right. So you know you give a teenage boy a laptop with internet access... Oh, goodness. Nine times out of ten... Two or three of those websites they're going to are porn websites. X2. I mean, come on. We're going to keep it real. <laughs> a teenage boy in high school that... Come on. X video. Yeah, especially a teenage boy in their home oh, who goodness. goes to high school who's not really getting sex. They're going to go. So can you just imagine one of those teenage boys doing something in, in the, the privacy of their own home and their own bedroom? I mean, porn websites and I'm, I get yams. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, anyway, fine. we're trying. I think that. No, do me a favor. <laughs> don't talk while I'm talking, okay? Don't do that. Oh, not me. Not, not you, oh, him. Oh. Well, I'm just saying, though. No, I, I see what the, you're saying. Wow. wow. I you see know, what you're saying, but I'm trying right. to make a point, and you telling me you get yams. <laughs> I didn't ask what you get. <laughs> so, you know, I don't believe their excuse about the. Uh, if somebody stole the laptop, yeah. if somebody stole the laptop, put a tracking device nice in the laptop. Yeah. So come on now, it's just BS. And um, I don't, you know, I don't. I agree with you. I don't know why all the family members are. Oh, excuse me, suing. Like, 
I don't know if they're paying for um, the school or anything like that, but if they do, they should be reimbursed. I think they probably should get like ten thousand dollars each. I don't know. I don't, I'm just coming out of my head, but can I think they should get something. Can you just imagine if you found that out? Because then the first thing, if somebody told me that, the first thing I think is, oh my god, what was I doing in front of that camera for them? Like, you know, because mm -hmm. you start thinking, what did they capture? Or did they record? What I, that's just embarrassing. That really is scary. embarrassing. You that is scary. You don't want to be on camera and not know it. Yeah. Oh, so. Because that happened to me once. What would you do if your child was in that situation? Let us know. Child? What would you do if you were in that oh, situation? Oh, well, yeah. What if your job <laughs> was doing that to you and you didn't know? That's a good thing. You know, because I think that some... Um, Jobs give out laptops too, so they can work from home or do some other stuff. But yeah, but you're still, I still don't want you recording me or watching me while I'm at home on the laptop. I, I, I can understand at work, yeah. not being recorded, but I know that at work, you know, at some people's jobs, they keep track of what websites you go on. Now I well, understand that. Well, yeah, 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 because they do that at my job too. Because you know, you know, I work at a hospital, mm -hmm. but. If what I'm talking about is not keeping track of what websites, but I'm talking about just you being able period. to access the camera and you're watching me while I'm on the computer. Like, what are you watching me for? Like, don't do that. I don't care if this is work. That's don't don't do that. Don't don't give me a laptop to take home to do work and then you are able to access the com um the camera. Like, that's first of all, I'm in my own home, and when I'm in my own home, you. Where I work at should not be in my home. Okay? You should not be in my home. Yes. Now, there was another situation. I know we're late talking about this. But the AC bus transit incident, the fight between the older white male and the younger black male. Mm -hmm. Did you see that video? Yeah, I did. And what did you think about well, it? Well, you know, I thought that the black guy got exactly what he deserved. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? Him and that old, him and the guy, the white guy, got into the argument. You know, the camera was recording after the argument started, so I really don't know what it was about. But I think the black guy said that the old man said asked him something about shining his shoes or something like that. So then the black guy told the old man to get out of his face, and so the old man got up and got out of his face, and mm -hmm. he actually moved to the front to of the, the bus. front of the bus. And you know, the black guy kept talking, and then one of the ladies who was in the middle of the bus actually grabbed the black guy. I don't know if you noticed that. And she tells him, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just go back. And what does he do? He snatches from her. And he goes. So it's like you had so many opportunities not to get your ass whooped. But when he swung on that old man and that old man whooped his ass, I said he got what it was coming from. And them girls instigated. The young oh, yeah, they girls did. instigated oh, yeah, they that did. guy. They did. They you did. know, and I want to know who they are because they need to be in trouble too for even instigating this fight, recording people without even letting them know that they're being recorded and uploading it to the internet. If I was that man or and the man that got beat up, I would be suing them for putting me out there. Well, um, well, you know, he was on one of the radio shows recently. They have a yeah. clip saying that it was the alcohol. The reason Who was drunk? The, 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 the black guy. The black guy. Well, he, he, got beat the yeah, he got beat up, up and yeah. he's blaming it on the... Mind you, blame he was like holding his alcohol. nose, call, call like, ambulance. Please, call you, you weren't drunk. You just wanted. You just thought yeah. that you were going to intimidate that white guy, and instead he turned around and whooped your ass. Well, that's that's what happened. Sing and he didn't. And he didn't just whoop his ass. He left him bloody. He left him bloody. And then when he got up, you could tell he was in a daze because he didn't know what just happened. Call, call, call yeah, the call that. Call the ambulance. Ain't no call no ambulance. And then they're like, "Oh, we going to sue." You know what? They robbed that old man at this store yeah, at Twenty Fourth from Ridge. That's yeah. Let's hear. They can't hear nothing. But that's crazy. Why are you always putting shit in Because this is the Strawberry Mansion section of North Philly. Why does that make our school look so bad, though? Oh, this child makes it look bad. This I old man, minding his business, goes into a store and gets robbed of $1,200. Why is he walking around with $1,200 in North Philly? It's beyond me. Get robbed for his credit cards. But can I talk? I didn't know you was in the video. You know, it was just crazy. You don't go around doing stuff like that because karma is a bitch and karma is going to come around. If they got any elderly parents, if they got any elderly people in their family, something bad is going to happen to them. It's going to come back to them. It's just bums. Or something's going to happen to them, period. They're bums. They're bums. We robbing somebody like that. I, I've never 
had that thought, oh, let me go rob a bank, let me go rob yeah. a person. No, you work for what the hell you want and not just getting it the easy And then way. rob an elderly man at that, an 80 year old man. I think Only boys was dicking them. That's just like that guy who recently beat that 60 something year old woman to death in her house. Her, and then if I come to find out it was her neighbor, if it was like, I forget what, it was like up near where I live at. 60 something years old beat her to death in her home with. A frying pan. It co- turned out it was like I think it was like a teenage neighbor or something like that, and they had her son on a new. I felt so bad for the family. Like it was just. Why would you do something like that to somebody? That's sad. That is sad. And just like I don't know if you remember what was this tweet? I think it was two years ago when um that guy, that black guy in New York, the the hundred. And one year old lady. Oh was yeah, on that, that was on the view and stuff. I and think they had was the, on the view. They had the video of the it. old man came into the apartment building. No, the, the black guy. It was an old white woman. She was hundred and one, and she was on her way to church. He, he and a black black guy came in. She was on her way out the door. He That's came crazy. in and started beating on her. And, and she had black her. eyes. Yeah, stuff. yeah. All she had, mind you, she's hundred and one. All she had in her her bag was thirty dollars. So you beat this old woman up for thirty dollars. He didn't even have to do that. He all he had to, all he had to do was grab the damn bag yeah. and run. But he beat her. I said, "How do you beat an old person up?" Some people. I don't. I don't know what, what, who, what, and who we are raising in this generation. It's just you just don't care. You don't have no respect or have no regards. Like it's just. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just glad I was brought up properly. Um, what else is going on? Um. A lot of people might have heard also over the weekend that Sweet Addictions TV have separated. Candy and Skittles are no more. Um, I hope this is just. I hope this is just temporarily. Um, you know, the breakup did not. It's not over YouTube. It's personal, but um, I really hope that you know that they get back together because they are family. And, you know, hopefully they get back to giving us some videos. Uh, Skittles will be doing her own thing, um, uploading videos to the YouTube, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> to the YouTube site. And um, I want him to shut up. And Candy's going to be doing her videos. And Candy, I, I, I really want to give you a shout out because um, I really, really enjoyed that Word on the Street video when you were asking people... What's the first stereotype that comes to your mind when you think of a black woman? And what's the first uh, stereotype that comes to your mind when you hear a white woman? So if y'all have not subscribed to Sweet Addictions TV, please subscribe to the channel. Yes, we did hear it. That yes, was nasty. we did hear it. And um, go over there and subscribe and support Candy and Skittles. Um, but please don't be writing... Candy negative emails and stuff. Please don't do that because that's not needed. And for people wondering if Mikel and I are splitting up, um, we're going to split up on April the 1st, 2010. So that's when we'll be splitting up from YouTube, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, um. Because I got a lot of things going for me. Yes. I mean, I just don't want to be in this dining room <laughs> all my life. <laughs> oh, I got some more things I have to get out. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, you got things going for you. Yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> I do. What you gonna try? Yeah. To, what you gonna marry Jay Blige me on this one too? Yes. <laughs> Some things I want to say <laughs> is when I'm doing blog TV. Okay. If I don't talk about my family members, please do not give me your thoughts. What or opinions? What did they be saying? Where is my phone? What did they say? I must be saved by the bell. It's right there. I can't answer this anymore because I'm doing a video. Oh. But <laughs> just do me a favor. Please don't give me your thoughts and opinions on my family members. If I don't ask you for it, please don't do that. That's very disrespectful to me. Oh, ain't you somebody? Yeah, I am What's somebody. What's they be saying? Yeah. That's they're going to say, well, well, they're going to say, um, I don't want to put her out there because she's been watching the show for oh, okay. a long time. Oh, but Kenya. she didn't know. Oh. <laughs> no, but she did say, um, don't you wish you could ban Richard from your family because I do. And I don't never think like that. Well, no, so, no. That's no. that's stupid to say. I wish we can ban him from downstairs when we're recording, <laughs> but not from his family. <laughs> like, because if you, because if you, you wouldn't, but I would. But that's rude. Like, to, yeah. That's rude for them to say. That's because they want to. They, that's because they want to be and be in our family. So, I, I just don't, I don't like comments like that. Just mind your business. Yeah, that was uncalled for to say that. 
So no matter who says. But they think they so who cool said. and end with yes. y'all like And, and, and one more thing. thing. Yeah. Huh? Who said oh, I'll write it down for you. <laughs> I don't I don't trust your handwriting. Just tell me. <laughs> Child, it's not right now. Let me say. Child, I can't see. <laughs> Child. So, uh, <laughs> I can't see that, but I oh, can see it. Oh, okay. I, I can't see it. But, uh, but okay, I can see you can it. see the lines, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, What else? Jennifer Lopez. No, it was something else before Jennifer Lopez getting dropped. That was really um, I wanted to ask you a question about that. Yes. Does that mean that it's the end of the road for them when they get dropped from the label? No. Yeah. <laughs> Because, it's not the end of the road, well, but, but I mean, it's just it's just the end of the road at that label. Well, because if you get dropped, this has always been my theory. If you get dropped from one label, isn't uh -huh. it like kind of hard for the next label to want to pick you up? And don't you have to work like ten times harder because you're trying not to get dropped from I a mean, second label? If you I drop, mean, you can drop the label, huh? Well, yeah, but that's not bad because you just like. What if I dropped label. you from the Scorpion show, right? Well, and then. Uh, <laughs> Well, no, 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 listen, no, no, listen, no, listen, if you was to me from the Scorpion show, yes. then that would be bad, Okay. but if I was to just leave the Scorpion show, then that wouldn't be bad because I'm no. doing it on my yeah. own terms, okay. but I mean, come on now, there's a reason why uh, they're dropping Okay, them. okay, now let's look at it from this point, even before they get the record deal, okay, Alicia Keys was signed by Columbia Records, got dropped, signed with J Records, Look at the star she is well, today. Well, yeah, you're right. Same thing with 50 Cent. Same thing with Neo. But 50 Cent isn't as big um, as he was in 2003. I know. And then Lady Gaga was with that Jam. She got dropped. She's now with all these different labels. And look what, like, at the Well, she, she is, is a different label. Now, when you're a bigger person I mean, and you her. get dropped from a record label, like, you know, I think Mariah left Columbia Records, but that was her home. Her home. So she leaves Columbia Records, she signed with Virgin Records, they offer her all this money, and then they paid Mariah to leave. So she got $48 million just for making that Glitter album. And then she's, she gets dropped from Virgin, because you know they paid her to leave. And she signs with Def Jam, she didn't do too well the first time. But then that second album, which was The Emancipation of Me Me, she sold 6 million copies just here alone. So it's, it's not always the record label it could be the type of music that you're putting out and if you were known for making oh, good okay. music <clears throat> mind your oh. business oh. if you were known for making good music and then you start making shitty music what makes you think somebody is go going to want to buy your next album is going to decrease so you really going to have to bring that hotness so just because you get dropped at one label does not mean you should give up well, I didn't Music. say that. I'm just saying. But I'm I was just, about to say because I did not say that. I know you didn't say that, but I'm just saying. Um, so, well, Jennifer Lopez, in my personal opinion, should just stop music I anyway. think she should stick to acting, acting because she's a really good actress. And she has a better chance of winning an Oscar than most of these actors out there. I mean, she's a really good actress. So, Jennifer, you just need to stop it. Yes. <laughs> you just need to stop. Because the last song I liked of yours I mean, was, she had, we can oh, get man. right before the night is up. We can get right. And that's when she started to fall mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that's third when she fell But I like yeah. that song. And I like that video. Ever, you need to get back with Ben Affleck. Because when you was with Ben Affleck and with Diddy, you was selling like crazy. Ben was Maybe, smacking her around. He was not hitting her. Yes, nobody he nobody he asked you not. anything. He was abusing her. He was, no, he was not abusing Okay, her. so Jennifer Garner's no. getting beat up too, right? Whatever. Sam has no idea what yeah, he's talking about. Yeah, just mind your business. People always want to get their buzz up. But, um, anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> back to what I was saying. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez started to, needs to she, stop. If she divorces Mark Anthony, then people going to be interested in her music. But right now, she don't have no scandal. She don't have nothing going on. They don't want to hear the music. They, they want to see you acting. And I want to see her acting again. And speaking of acting, I seen, did you see Joe Scott's mm -hmm. Sins of the Mother on mm -hmm. Lifetime Movie Network? That was such a good movie, and I definitely see an Oscar nomination for Jill Scott in the future. She is just that good of an actress. Like, she fucking killed that role. Her and the girl in the, um, in the movie, um, they, they did a good job. Yeah, I like I like Jill Scott's acting. I wouldn't say that I like the movie all too much because it just seemed like it could have been more to it than 
It seemed like they, first of all, the movie, the storyline was really good. But every two minutes, her and the daughter were arguing. And I was just, at, <laughs> it was like, okay. Wait well, yeah, but okay, let me give my no. review. And then I'll let you yell at me. Every two minutes, they were arguing. And it was like, okay, now I'm ready for a story to be told. Like, because the only thing I know is you were alcoholic and you don't like her anymore. Because she wasn't alcoholic. Because she was an alcoholic. But then and it's she like felt abandoned and then, her childhood. And then um in the beginning when the girl was pulling out her hair, I was a little confused by that too, but then they took found out I just think that it should have been more to it. But I do agree with you. Joe Scott is a really good actress. She is a really good actress. And um you know, she, go ahead. it's probably like a I know it has to be a book. And it it has to be a book from that. So um we probably have to read the book. To get the full idea of why the yelling and screaming was going on throughout the um well, well, like your mom said, that is what happens. Mm -hmm. But it just seemed to me at a certain point that that's all the what is the movie's about. It's just they're just gonna keep yelling at each other. And right? if anybody from Lifetime is watching, do not give the movie away by when you yeah, go to the commercial, commercial. You show, show what's, what's coming the next up scene. Next. Like, yeah, don't like why do you keep doing that? You know what I think, Tim. The scene in the church when they were arguing in the church, oh that goodness. was a really good scene. That was a powerful scene. I think that scene. what they could have did was they could have left out some of the arguing before that scene and just had it all build up to that scene. But instead, they were arguing, 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 arguing to the point where you knew that they were going to argue in the church. Because <laughs> like, the last four scenes, they were arguing. It was like, but that church scene was really, Damn. really good. Yes. It was really good. I give up. Took that little girl and walked out. Uh, yeah, and the little and the character no. of the little girl. I don't understand why the little girl. What's wrong? Uh, I don't live here. And the part, the character of the little girl. I don't even understand why that little girl. I mean, they could have gave the little girl a bit more speaking parts. Like, and she was a cute. Little she was a cute little girl. That's why I was upset that she didn't have more stuff to say. Like every, she's like. Mm -hmm. No, I was like, what? Wait, Wait, am I off oh, somewhere? <laughs> I don't know, but says. Sins of the Mother was such a good movie. Um, I don't live here. Yes. Um, what else? I think we. I think we touched a lot. Um, <sighs> no, because I'm sure we're missing something. Yes. Oh, I put up a video today of Monica's new video, "Everything to Me." Mikkel actually heard the song for the first time, and I don't know about him. The first time I heard the song, I fell in love with it. Um, well, I said it was a good song, and I said yeah. she looked good, and I said she sounds good too. Yeah, so yeah, Monica. So far, so good, Monica. You had the TV show; it was really successful. There's going to be reality. I mean, a second season. She has a great new video. She has a great first single, and you know now she just has to really promote this album because the um, album did not come out right after the reality show. So, did you? She could do it. I know this is a few weeks late, but did mm -hmm. you read that letter that that 15-year-old girl wrote to BET? No. Oh my God. I'm sure some of you watching this video know what I'm talking about. This 15-year-old girl wrote a powerful letter, a long letter to BET, Deborah Lee, asking her why is it that they're showing the stuff that they're showing on BET. It was very, it was, it was floating around Twitter about two weeks ago, like the link for the letter. It was a really good letter. And... I hope that that letter reaches whoever it's supposed to reach because that little girl went into detail where she was naming certain shows that they mm -hmm. were showing and asking why are you exploiting African Americans like this or why are you exploiting women like this? You know, she went to the, a, a certain point where she was saying that, you know, Deborah Lee is a woman and she's supposed to be this, that, and the third, but yet she's... And it's funny because when Bob Johnson was running BT, it seemed like BT was in order. It had... Majority of the shows were music shows. The only bad show was BT uh, Uncuts. And that came, and that came on at 3 o'clock in the morning when everybody was asleep. <laughs> except for me on Saturday nights. Oh, God. But. <laughs> on uh, Saturday nights. <laughs> no. Well, Friday nights too. <laughs> Wait, I don't think it came on Saturday nights. It came on during the week. I think every night at 3 o'clock in yeah, the morning. Yeah, but I don't think it came on Saturday night. But anyway, that was the only bad show you had on BT. Now, you have... I don't even know if ne Nephi and Frankie are coming back. Uh, I don't know. I hope not. I hope not either. I mean, why were they even on there? Then, because you know, they were the stars of the Keisha Cole yeah, show. Yeah, but you know, it's funny because 
I was talking to one of my friends one day about Frankie and Neff. And, you know, he kind of liked, he liked the show and he liked Frankie. And I was telling him, you know, how much I didn't like that whole this, that, and the third. And he was like, well, you know, I think Frankie's, I think she has a good message behind what she's trying to. And I was like, what, what? Mes message is she trying to? Well, you know, she can help recovering addicts. The way she's doing it is the wrong way. Because getting on the show and being a person every too much partying. And she looks like she's still, I don't think, could don't, be on some. Something. I'm not saying. I don't. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. So, um, no. I, I, I just. And then I, she had that. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. But she was sitting down with her friend, having that conversation. Like she don't like her life. She don't like the way she's living. So something is still going on. on. Yeah. I mean, Frankie. Frankie is what I would say to my friends. Frankie is one of those people, um, who doesn't have it all. Or I would say her elevator doesn't go to the top floor. Mm. But I'm sure if I was in Frankie's presence, I'd probably say I don't think her elevator is even installed in the shaft. She probably do doesn't. You know what it is? She's probably not on drugs. She probably now just has a drinking habit and she wants to get rid of it. She's not used to society. That's what it is. You can tell she's not. She's been in jail and so, and not even in jail, but she's been in jail with her own body with the drugs and stuff. Now I think now that she's getting help and getting clean. I don't think she's her brain is fully circulating with society. I just don't. And she's Keisha Cole done left her family and you know she just needed a, I guess her time away from well, Keisha Cole to me did the right thing because Frankie and Nephi weren't doing anything but complaining and just riding on Keisha's coattails. But they have their own issues that they have to work out as yeah. mother and daughter. Yeah, and that's so. why I think Keisha did the right thing. Because now Keisha is starting her whole family, her own family. family. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to be involved in that mess because, first of all, Frankie and Nephi are grown. Nephi is the mother of five kids with seven different baby dads. So she can do her own thing, you know? I mean, she can learn. First of all, you can tell the apple don't fall too far from the tree when it comes to Nephi and Frankie. But she got seven kids from five different baby daddies, or did you say she I said had five, five kids, kids from seven, seven different, different baby fathers? <laughs> That's what Several. I said. Several. Seven. <laughs> I was trying to be smart. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wait a minute now, hold up. Yeah, because I saw the beads of sweat <laughs> forming in your forehead. Yeah, sure you did. Um, I just think that BET, uh, we all know, y'all all know how we feel about BET. Yeah, y'all know. They need to revamp the lineup. They need to, they need to come up with some original shows. And this is my thing. Stop eliminating the curse word bitch off of BET. And if, if you can say ass and all of that on BET. I'm tired of every time they say bitch is bleeped out. Maybe that's the only thing Deborah Lee changed because she was a female and she didn't hear, didn't want to hear black women be called that. But... I think it's a curse word that we all say. Put it back on there. Don't bleep that out. Because we got to watch every other movie where MF are blocked out. This, this, this. Everything is bleeped out. Why even show it? Mm -hmm. Put something positive on TV. It's Black History Month. I have not seen any black history from BET talking about... Um, Ruby D, talking about Cecily Tyson, talking about Maya Angelou, Coretta Scott King, Martin Luther King. Oprah I haven't Winfrey. seen the Oprah Winfrey. I haven't seen a damn thing from BET for Black History Month except for congratulations to Moni for the Oscar nomination, mm -hmm. which she's going to win on March the 7th, by the way. But, you know, Moni got a good show. I love the show. She calmed down with the yelling and screaming, you know, but, um... BET really needs to revamp the lineup. MTV needs to revamp their lineup. I, I just don't understand what's going on with TV. Um, um, that's why I don't watch it. That's why I'm always watching the news. I do. I do. The do, the new show I want to see on BET is the Family Cruise with Terry Crews and his family. And that's I do want to watch like, that. These reality shows have got to go. Like now, you're just giving anybody a show. Now, no, seriously. Now you're just giving anybody a show. Mm -hmm. First of all, you're giving no disrespect to Terry Crews, but you're giving him a reality show, and he doesn't even have a starring role in a movie. He's always the third or fourth name on the credits when you see a movie. Like, he's never starred in his own movie. Like, why are you giving these people reality shows? You need to, like we said before in our BT rant video, you need to pull the plug on BT and then plug it back up. 
but some, and start I think all some, some, over some again. celebrities, no, 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 you no, no, get to see no, them. No, 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 no. Now, I would rather no, no, see no. a celebrity reality show no, no, than no. to see a reality show no. with no. new people. No. Just think about this. Now, let's just, it got to be a good plot. Just think about this. 15 years ago, we barely, the only reality show we had 15 years ago was, was the, the Real, Real World. World. That yeah. was the only reality show, and we were happy with that. Now you have College Hill, Baldwin Hills, um, but College Hill was interesting. Bad, they, now you have Bad Girls Club. That's I'm still trying There's to figure no out point why they oh, How long we got recording? I'm Seven still minutes. trying to figure out. And then Natalie, this I don't like Natalie, and I don't like Little Duval. But they have a video together on World Star Hip Hop they where other. they're on the plane flying from wherever to LA and they're going at each other and you know it's hilarious. But he kept asking her, like, what is it that you do? And she says, Well, I run LA. And he said, Well, what is your talent? And she said, My talent is I'm a bad girl. It's like stupid stuff like that. We're we're giving an hour of you know. You should have seen time. the view today because the cast of <laughs> The cast of Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore which is another was thing. on there, and <laughs> yeah. Joy Behar, oh, of course, know. she's Italian, you know. so she was over it, uh -huh. and she was like, "Like, do y'all have a plan, like, after this? Like, everybody, of course, after this show is acting, mm -hmm. and if acting don't work, what is your backup plan? The situation was like, well, I just, you know, he didn't have a backup plan. Whoopi was like, y'all need to be investing your money, saving mm -hmm. your money, and that's what a lot of these reality stars don't understand. Like, after your season is over, nobody cares about, about you anymore. anymore. Nobody don't want to see a movie you went buy your album, buy a book. Nothing. Because you're only just for the moment. You have to do something that's lifetime. You know? You have to do something where people will want to be interested in you. Or at least you still making money off of something you did. Like... I think that, especially black people, we need more sitcoms on TV because I'm so tired of watching old episodes of the Jamie Foxx show, Martin, uh, Living Single, um, the Wayans Brothers, you know. If we were creative in the 90s, we could be more creative right now mm -hmm. with these TV shows and putting out good TV shows like Lincoln Heights. That is such a good TV show. You watch that? No, but is that new or old? It, it, came, it started out on ABC Family. And then um, TV One started showing the reruns. But it's a good show. It's a really good show. Well, I saw your tweet today, this morning, when you were asking why are Italians mm -hmm. so upset with the people of Jersey Shore? And then you said, because, you know, blacks, we're not upset with the people who are on VH1 or something like that, you were saying. It's something, something like that. that I understand, yeah. And I said, well, I think the reason why, I don't know if you got my tweet, but a few people did. Mm -hmm. And I said the reason why the Italians are, are a little upset with the Jersey Shore people is because they probably expect more from their people. Whereas though, somebody wrote to me and said, well, you know, not just blacks and Italians, but all people have reality shows make fools of themselves and they want to get seen, which is true. But black people, to me, in my opinion, will do anything for their 15 minutes of fame. And so a lot of black people just don't care what they do on TV. Just so they can say, oh, did you see Pookie on TV? Did you see Pookie? Did you see them? You know, so I kind of understand where Joy was coming from when she was upset. Because it's like, why are you on a show like Jersey Shore, which has no point whatsoever? And P.S. I am still a little upset at my girl Beyonce for admitting that Jersey Shore is one of her guilty pleasures. Like B, I watched the episode I watched that show twice. I did not understand what was going on in both episodes. So I need for you, Beyonce, I need for you the next time I see you to tell me what it is that you see in that show. Because you told Hoda Copy and Kathy Griffin that that's your guilty pleasure. Now Beyonce, I need for you to tell me what it is that you see in that show. Because I just don't Why see is it. this fan on in the ceiling? Because I had it on early when I was You know, tennis. I don't understand Snooky or whatever that pig's name is. Anyway. Oh, goodness. People always just be... I don't live here. <laughs> always. Oh, poor oh, bitches let me hear. always bitches. Oh, goodness. What you say? Poor helpless <laughs> bitches. Poor Ooh. hungry bitches are it's, always oh, bitches. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's what she's saying about herself. This you camera is about no, to stop. I, I, I misphrased that. This camera. Poor broke bitches oh, are always 